Well, hello there, my lovelies. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I have my lovely fan that my beautiful subscribers sent me. I am once again here to give you some updates on some news, some things that I'm finding. Because as I've always said, we are watching the Imitation of Life movie in real time. Like we're seriously watching a movie. This is my movie poster. <laughs> I just might end up making it a documentary. I don't know. But for now, I thought, you know, let's have some fun with this because everything is happening. The formula is there. Everything that we're seeing is happening with this whole debacle of a royal couple. But my movie is called The Imitation of Royal Life. That's what we're watching, folks. That's what we are experiencing. And we're going to talk about now how Megan has seen herself on the decline with yet another person in her life. And she thinks, oh, oh it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, it ain't. Because the friend spoke out and dissed you and let it be known. It's not okay. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get into it. talk about today we are going to speak about this Trudeau this Trudeau friend of Megan's that she thought she had and she doesn't anymore she doesn't and it's quite sad because your reality is so warped Megan is in a different reality that that, that, that that's playing out in her head she's not in the reality that we're in as we watch our movie Clearly, she's not in the same reality show because what has happened is Megan is being dissed all over the place. Hollywood is dissing her, her friend, her once friend, uh, Miss Trudeau, the ex-wife uh, of the former prime minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Yeah, you know, Megan did all this social climbing, all of these things that put herself in a position to just, you know, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to have A-listers and I'm going to just easily be able to just wipe my family. Just wipe them off of the face of this earth because I'm going to never acknowledge them again. I don't know those people. I don't know them. Who is Thomas Markle Jr.? Who is Samantha Markle? My daddy? Who is he? What's he doing? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're, that's the kind of person we're watching. A woman that does not care about her ailing father once she became famous or infamous. Once she saw, saw that she had celebrity and she can try to, you know, weasel her way into, you know, the lives and circles of celebrity. She's like, forget my daddy. I don't need him. Who does not want to see the downfall of a person like that? Who does not get joy out of seeing a person get a true smackdown from life's realities when you see a woman treat her father and her family like that? You have to be completely out of your mind with reality if you think Meghan Markle is somebody you want to associate with. And slowly but surely, people are recognizing it. And that's why I love speaking about these kind of stories because they give a glimpse into, yep, we're right on target. Yep, like, yep, 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 we're right on target. Yep, okay, the, the, this friend is this in her now. Okay, you know, we're eating the popcorn. Okay, we're right on time with this, this, this show, this movie. <laughs> you know, because people see it. Hollywood sees it. But in her head, she's just like, you know, oh, okay, I'm going to make some jam. I'm going to sell jam. I'm going to sell jam and I'm going to be uh, a host of a show with cooking and gardening and friendship. <laughs> Not talk about family, but friendship. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do these things. And I'm going to make lots of money. It's all good. And meanwhile, Harry, apparently, I didn't have a chance to contact Thomas uh, Markle Jr. on this, but I heard him in a short say that 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 Harry reached out or that he's not, I'm, I'm sorry, not reached out, but apparently he wants to, I guess he heard it through the grapevine or he reached out, not sure yet. 
But Harry wants to meet Thomas Markle Sr. Are you serious? Are you serious? And then Thomas Markle uh, Jr. is like, well, only if he's sincere and it's not for the cameras. And that's the thing. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it when I first started this channel, folks. I said the only way Meghan Markle's ever going to get back into the good graces where people are going to ever really want to like her again is she has to make right by her family. And if she does try to make right by her family, she's going to use him for the cameras. And I think it's for the cameras. I do because she's desperate. She's desperate to hold on to Netflix, folks, and to pay the bills. She got to pay the bills. She can't do anything. That's going to, I mean, the downfall is spectacular. Even Lemonada is upset because she's launching this whole American Riviera thing and you know they want to you know to really promote her on the podcast so they push that back I mean the downfall of this woman is spectacular and now Harry is starting to see the light and wants to maybe uh, go to go see Thomas Markle senior which yeah don't think it should happen I think that's just them trying to go well, we got to make some money let's go try to get them on camera because we know we watching that we're going to watch anything that's going to have uh, the Markle family in it. But Megan is not sincere and she won't do it without the cameras. And even if she does, she's going to use it to her benefit. It's, there's no sincerity with this woman. None. Whatsoever. So, but that's to, that's to come as we continue to look. But here, this is what we're looking at today. Meghan Markle's dear friend Sophie Trudeau gives an awkward three word response mm -hmm. about their friendship, you know, because it all begins with the, with the statements that we see in public. It, it gives us insight into the behind the scenes chaos where someone is like, well, I don't like that woman. I don't like her. I can't stand her. I wish she'd just leave me alone. I don't want nothing to do with her. And then in the, in the news article, you know, she gives like a, an awkward three word response. Like that's what we see. But I but trust me. Behind the scenes, when, you know, they're in their own reality of dealing with life, they're responding in a way that is explosive <laughs> because they're outraged as well over this woman and how she is. Um, but before I go into my story really quickly, I do want to say that uh, Prince William is saying that he is uh, not going to meet with Harry when he comes uh, for the Invictus Games because, you know, he's still upset and he doesn't like how he treated his wife. And I say, good for you, Prince William. Good. Don't let that man come in your, to your circle. Get him out your circle. I don't care if he is your brother. You can love him from afar. And that's what Prince William is going to do. He is going to love his brother from afar. He is not going to see Harry when he comes back. And that is a good thing. We already know that the king is not going to allow Harry to stay at uh, Windsor Castle. He, he put in a request, Harry, to stay at one of the castles. <laughs> and they said, no, it's so good. It's so good. It's like, yes. Smackdowns, folks, coming all the way around. Smack, smack, smack. Harry's feeling it. And Megan's feeling it too now with this story. So here we go, folks. Here we go. Enough of my rambling. I just get too worked up because I just love justice. I'm all, I've always been the kind of person I just want to see, ooh, you know what? You're going to get yours. You're going to get it for what you did. That's wrong. You don't do that to people. You don't do it. It's wrong. And that's what's going to happen. That's what is happening in our movie, The Imitation of Royal Life. So Megan's friendship with Sophie uh, Trudeau, the estranged wife of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, appears to have hit the rocks, folks. We know that she boasted about her close bond with Trudeau, referring to her as her dear friend whom she absolutely adores. <laughs> I adore her. That's Megan and her fakeness and her falseness and her perpetration. And when asked about her friendship with the royals, it, it appears as though the warm feeling isn't quite as mutual. Trudeau, when asked about Megan, she says, I know her. <laughs> I mean, there is evidence, right? So she, she's like, OK, I know her. Uh, this is what she said into a question about her friendship with uh, the Asus alum. Now, uh, Sophie, she did not gush back about the mom of two and mentioned that they're, the pair haven't spent much time together. I know her, but I haven't spent much time with her. 
We're going to keep it bland and as just just like void of any feeling as possible. We just we just going to get to the facts. OK, I know her. I, I did spend some time with her. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, Megan, Megan, you're really done a doozy, girl. You're done a doozy. I just love it. OK. Instead, Trudeau revealed her sympathy for Kay Middleton. Just like Prince William is, he's, he's revealed his sympathy for his wife over his brother. Yeah, you're not coming to see me, brother. Brother, stay your butt in a hotel. Don't come see me. I don't want to see you. Feel the brunt of the, the, the problems you've created. Instead, Trudeau revealed her sympathy for Kate Middleton, adding that she felt terrible after hearing of the Princess of Wales cancer diagnosis. Yeah, so, you know, William's not going to be dealing with it. You know, Harry is just seeing that this is just not going anywhere fast. I got to do a video on that because Harry is starting to see the light. Harry is really starting to see this is not going well. People are talking about it and the marriage is, is clearly on the rocks. And so when Megan was on her Archetypes podcast in 2022, Markle detailed a day that she spent at home with Trudeau and her family. OK, so this was in 2022. So she talked about it. But when it happened with Sophie, I don't know when that happened. But at some point, you know, before Megan's head just got so big and started walking cricket uh she was friends with this woman okay because she goes on to talk about and this is what she said during the podcast she said we swam we drank wine we splashed in the water this is what she shared at the time and then she then threw in some pool floats in this was the other version of us markle continued both with wild, curly, and swimsuits, and loose linen, and, and huge belly laughs. Big cuddles with our little ones, and, and quiet whispers of girl talk. On the terrace, and giddy like absolute schoolgirls. <laughs> we were just having so much fun. We were just having so much fun. <laughs> so Megan, she went all in about her friendship right yeah but sophie was like i know her mm-hmm i know her yeah we spent some time together <laughs> yes yes victory victory is what i say and Megan called Trudeau, Trudeau her dear friend who had supported her throughout her pregnancy. Uh, I absolutely adore her. Oh, I love Sophie Trudeau. I adore her. <laughs> well, she don't adore you is what I say. <laughs> she don't adore you, Megan Markle. Because you're full of it. You think you're somebody and you're not nobody. You're just a wannabe princess selling jam. That's what you are, a wannabe selling jam. That's the reality of who you are, Meghan Markle. And if you go back to the very beginning of my videos, I always had started this video, my channel, with Megan. you got to do better, girl. you got to do better. You're getting off on the wrong, you know, this is not how you do things. If only she would have listened to me. If only she would have been willing to try to make it work and not been so full in her head. We all know, we all know when uh, I told you in my past videos, when I got my smackdown, a literal smackdown, when my head was too big, I haven't been the same since. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, haven't been the same since. I had my smackdown and it was the last time I had a big head. And while I do not condone violence, I do not condone hitting someone the way I was hit when my head was too big. I do wish that people get these social smackdowns. Sometimes these social smackdowns, it's the better equivalent of a physical smackdown like I had because I would not wish that on my worst enemy. I would not wish that on Meghan Markle. But having someone give you a social smackdown like what this Sophie Trudeau did is a good thing. It puts things back into perspective about, well, maybe I'm not all that, you know, maybe I shouldn't have 
you know, made her out to be someone that I thought was my friend. She's, she doesn't look at me as her friend. You know, it's just like there's a lot to learn here, folks. So Marco and Trudeau are believed to have been introduced through their mu mutual pal, Jessica Moroni, whom Marco no longer considers a friend. Now, Moroni, who is the daughter-in-law of former Prime Minister Brian Moroni, met Marco in Toronto, Canada, while she was filming Suits. The friendship apparently took a turn in 2000 and, or 2020 when Maroney had acute had was accused of exhibiting white privilege amid the Black Lives Matter movement, which allegedly caused a rift between the two. Maroney subsequently uh, spent several years out of the spotlight. She was saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> we all know what happened with that. But, you know, the moral of this story really is that as easily as Megan wants to disassociate herself with people that she once knew, People that Megan knows are, are very easily willing to disassociate themselves with her because of how she's behaving. You see, it goes both ways. And the, the question is whether or not Megan is learning anything from this, learning that it goes both ways, that people that she thought were her friends are going to disassociate with her. And I take it to another level because apparently she's not able to get guests for her Lemonada podcast. She can't get anyone of A-level status to come on her Lemonada podcast. And she won't. Okay? She won't. I don't know what Serena Williams is doing, why she's still hanging around, but there are not going to be many A-list people that are going to want to associate themselves with Megan. They're going to be cordial and nice to her, but they are not going to associate with this woman. And I can see right now that this, yeah, Sophie Trudeau, she's like, look, I don't want nothing to do with you. You're wrong. And if I associate myself with you, people are going to look at me cricket sideways crazy. And she knows it. And this is why people will not associate themselves with her. So I just have to say good, good, good for Sophie Trudeau for keeping it real, giving a very polite, I know her, I've spent some time with her kind of a response and leaving it at that. Because Meghan Markle is not somebody who you want to associate with. And there you have it, folks. Another episode of, yeah, the Im imitation of royal life. She is losing her friends. She's lo losing the friends that she thought would want to be her friend as a royal. But even being a royal can't save you from the disastrous personality flaw that you have, Meghan Markle. When will you learn? When will you wake up and recognize you're getting back what you gave? That is the question. I don't know, but it's nice to see. And I'll see you all in the next one. Toodles!